Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hotline Miami 2. Last time, we saw the end of the movie plotline, which I assume is going to tie into the Inspector's plotline at some point, because I, I imagine they're taking place in the same place. Anyway, it's time for Act 2 to begin. First trial. Uh, no, I have not seen the intro yet. Now, the defendant claims that he was ordered to commit these murders through messages left on his answering machine. Oh, shit. Is... Is a jacket on trial? Did you investigate these claims? Yes, we did. Oh yeah, it's totally jacket. Look, you can see... Um... I really don't remember the big mask, but that's definitely jacket. That's definitely a jacket. That's, uh, Richard... I'm not sure, is that Tony the Tiger? Pig mask, not sure, and that's just, you know, gun. And what did you find? Well, the defendant's answering machine was empty. The tape had been removed. Did you find anything supporting these claims of threatening phone calls? Why are his eyes green like that? No, sir, we did not. I see. No further questions. You saying... I do declare. You're saying you found no physical evidence supporting my client's claims. I'm sorry, that's just the feeling I get from this guy. He looks like Colonel Sanders. Younger Colonel Sanders. Then what about phone records? Surely the police would have had no difficulty accessing such information. Indeed, we did investigate the defendant's phone records. And did you find any calls on records that could support my client's claims? We did, sure. The defendant seems to have received sure, phone calls. Well, yeah, great. He received phone calls. Where is he, incidentally? That match the time frame which he suggests, but... Did you manage to trace these calls? If so, where did they come from? We traced the calls to an iCloud called the Golden Truck Stop. Yes. Now, my client claims that he was coerced by the Russian Mafia to commit the crimes for which he is now being persecuted. Prosecuted. Do the police have any knowledge of ties between the Golden Truck Stop and the Russian Mafia can support my client's claims. Is that his client next to him? The venue has been linked to several non-related crimes in the past, yeah. However, that will be all. Thank you. No further questions. Witness may now step down. Court will be adjourned. Proceedings will continue at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Meanwhile, the defendant will remain in police custody, as is probably expected. Oh, what? Well, this is kind of neat. I don't see anyone odd in the audience. Miami Police Department. Detective Pardo, tell him from seven. Oh wait, yeah, the detective is the guy. Pardo is the guy who was talking to, playing as before, the bad cop, totally bad cop. One moment, please. What are you in the middle of killing people? I bet you're killing people. Doing research on the mask maniac. What's it got to do with me? Mention something about Golden Truck Stop. Something about mob connections. So? I was wondering if you know anyone there that I can talk to. Oh, come on. You don't care. What are you doing? You owe me one, remember? Oh, boy. You're going to get yourself killed. So hard. Northwest 37th Avenue, ask for Petrov and tell him I sent you. Can't promise I'll talk, but it's the only name I've got. Don't call me at work again. No more favors. So 
Where'd I park? Where do I go? Uh, okay. Yep, I'm off screen. I don't know why there was no... What? What? That was weird. to get in. Yeah, sure, whatever, you mobster. I don't think so. Well, fuck you. <laughs> He's performing CBR on the guy? What? Is this the guy who just, like, can't kill anyone? Somebody call an ambulance. There's been an accident. Is anyone here? So I probably gotta play this completely differently, because I need to be stealthy the whole time. Oh. Ah, come on. Yeah, he's not killing anyone. He's just, like, breaking arms and stuff, but he's not killing them. I wonder if I can use guns. No, he's just disabling the guns. Ha! That's actually kind of cool. Oh, well, damn it. Let's try that again. Whoop! Not quite what I wanted to have happen there. Alrighty. Aha, fuck you. Okay. Come at me, bro. Ah, there's guys with guns. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Interesting. I can't use the knife. It's definitely there, but I just can't use it. This character basically just has to be non-lethal. That's basically it. Okay, now how do I go about getting these guys over here? There's two of them right there. Oh, is that it? Fucking Christ! Come on, bushwhack. It's kind of an interesting twist on it, though. Like, instead of actually killing the guys, you're just disabling them. With great prejudice. Extreme prejudice. Fuck. So these, all these characters have, like, massive punching ability, though. I mean, look at this. Just decking guys with a single punch. Just straight up. Anytime. All right. Come on. 
Got it. Alright, that's not too bad. Is that a... That's Hammer and Sickle. What the hell? Who has, like, a communist symbol right in their nightclub? I feel like that's the exact opposite of what you would have in a nightclub, normally speaking. God damn it, right. Okay. Well, that was just kind of dumb. Please, wa walk by my kill door here. Uh, is that These are tanning boots, aren't they? This is not a nightclub. This is like a spa. God damn it. Okay. Oh, you weren't dead? Well, incapacity, I should say. Oh, neat. I get bon I get bonus points for disabling the guns. That might have been a mistake. All my fucking weapons are over there now. God damn it. Well, whatever, it's... It's almost as good as uh, <laughs> a weapon, almost. that thing. Come at me. Okay, who else is... Can I, like, perform CPR on this guy who's very obviously bleeding out? I mean, Jesus. Take that. Okay, so... Oh, he's just sitting out in the sun there. So he's gonna take out everyone else, or make sure I've taken out everyone else. Yep, that's it, just him. He's very sweaty. Who the hell are you? I'm... are you Petrov? I'm writing a book about the Masked Maniac. So I came in here and I beat up all your thugs. Detective Pardo told me I could talk to you about it. Seriously, what the hell is this place? It's like a sauna. It is a sauna, but this is like a fucking spa. It's not a nightclub. Detective Pardo told you that. You a friend of yours? That's right, sir. Not a very good friend, I take it. Sending you here of all places. No, I reckon you're right about that. Yeah. This book you're writing, it must be very important to you. Risking your life to come talk to me, you sure got balls. Big sweaty balls in sauna. For what I get? Well, what is it you want to know? You get two questions. Then you get the fuck out of here. Alright. Police claims the masked murderers were part of a vigilante movement. Are you of the same opinion? No. I don't think they were vigilantes, they were much too organized. They knew our exact locations and had insight into our inner workings. I do not know what they were made of, but it was no group of vigilantes. Why do you think they treat, targeted the Russian Mafia specifically? I mean, it is like... This is like pseudo-80s, isn't it? It's a Cold War and all that shit. What were they after? I can't tell you what they were after, but... They effectively destroyed our whole organization, and then they were gone. They seemed to... They knew what they were doing, and they seemed to be trained very well. We got a couple of them alive, tried to break them. Not a sing not one of them talked. Not a single one. Alright, no more questions. Get the hell out of my sight. Yeah, sure, seems reasonable. Petrov. 
Hmm? Where's my... Why is the arrow pointing this way? Weird. Oh, whatever. Shouldn't have messed with me, bud. That was a taxi. He just drove up here in a taxi. Ah, oh, I didn't beat my score. Oh, well. D plus? Eh. What a day. I bet. Oh, did something happen? Well, yeah. That guy Petrov, he wouldn't see me. I almost got beat up just trying to get in. Yeah, you actually went there? Didn't figure you would. And sometimes I wonder why I hang out with you. That's a good fucking question. He literally sent you into a den of Russian mobsters. When did you become such a douchebag? Well, I did tell you to write about the Miami Mutilator instead, didn't I? Much more sophisticated case, really. And you won't have to talk to the mob. You're the Miami Mutilator. That's what you are. You are the Miami Mutilator. You're trying to sell your own story for some reason. I don't know, you're a psycho? People have forgotten about those vigilantes by the time your book's out. You say that, but there's like another group of them, so... Two, actually. There's the fat guy and then there's the group. Besides, it brought you beer, right? And you didn't really get hurt, did you? Let's go all even. Didn't get hurt. They were shooting guns at the fucking guy. Thanks for the beer and all, but you still owe me one. Alright, alright, don't forget, I'm putting my job on the line. If anyone finds out I'm giving you leads, that'll be it for me. You'll be fired from competence or misconduct before that happens. Or be arrested for being a murderer. Surprised they haven't fired you already. He's got dirt on someone, I bet. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I should get you I should get some sweet tea. You wanna ride? I'll take my chances on the bus. Oh, now I'm playing the detective. Oh wait, not until I both of them? Yeah, you wanna die? Oh, no, no. Oh, there's the door. Oh, and he just goes off and does his own thing. That's pretty cool.